Carolyn Service with OWStamping.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make this wreath card for Christmas using the Vintage Leaves stamp set. I know, interesting, huh? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little leaf down here in the corner to make the wreath. So let's get started. Actually, I want to tell you one thing before I start. So the ribbon that I've used on this particular project is some retired ribbon. It's called Cherry Cobbler Dotted. And the reason I used that is I found that we had no Cherry Cobbler ribbon in the catalog when I went to try to match the cardstock. So there is, right now as we speak, this is the beginning of August, some cherry cobbler ribbon in the clearance rack. But when you watch this video, there may not be that option. So I wanted to tell you, you could also um, substitute the cherry cobbler cardstock in this card with real red so that you could then use a coordinating real red ribbon. Okay? So let's get started showing you how I made that card. First, I started with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures four and a quarter by eleven. Use this to squish that out. <laughs> then I'll take my old olive, there we go, and put it right over the top of that and no one will be the wiser so don't tell. Okay, put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my card here. and mount that to the front. Uh, next I want to also add a piece of white. This is going to be the one that we're going to stamp on so I'm not going to add that one yet. But I'm going to take another white piece that's four and a quarter by, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter and add this to the inside so that when you get ready to stamp on it, it will be all ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to bring this piece out. So I wanted to have some idea of a circle for the frame. So I used the Circles Collection Framelit dies and chose the fourth smallest one and then just took a pencil. I want it fairly up at the top so I can put my message, my sentiment down here. And then I just lightly oops, penciled a circle. Now you could do this several different ways. You could use a glass. You could use whatever you have handy that would make a circle for you to kind of have a, a point in which to stamp with. Okay, then I used my old olive ink pad and this where we can see it. Inked up my ink pad and then simply lined it up on that line, stamped and Stamped the opposite side, going the opposite direction. Then came here and here. Okay, so I have four equally spaced leaves. Um, then I wanted to do that so I'd have a good feel for where uh, my stamps needed to go. And then I stamped off and went in between. And you can do this more than once. Just remember to stamp off each time. Try to keep in mind that you're trying to make a circle. 
Not too bad. All right. The next thing I want to do is using my cherry cobbler. You can use any Christmas sentiment here that you would like. I'm going to be using Happy Wonderful Christmas from the Wondrous Wreath stamp set. And as I said, Cherry Cobbler ink. And placing that right down at the bottom. I love that font. I just think that's so pretty. And then we're going to need a pencil eraser. Fairly flat on the end. Like, preferably one that hasn't been used yet. Okay, so I found one. Just make sure it doesn't have any little pieces, racer on it. I'm going to take my Cherry Cobbler ink pad, and I'm actually just going to use this like a stamp. And I'm going to apply my cherries, cherries, <laughs> apply my holly berries. See, it's got one little spot that's been used. It's not coming out quite flat and round, but I think that's going to be okay. No, I don't like the look of that. Hold on one minute. Okay, I think this one will work better. All right, so I'm going to just randomly place holly berries around my wreath. All right, like that. I'm going to take, um, there we go, approximately 12, 11 to 12 inches of ribbon and tie my bow. Now, if you are using dotted ribbon, this can be a little tricky when you come around to try to make the dots. with both loops, but it can be done. You just have to twist it as you put it through the loop there. And then pull it tight. This is a little bit trickier with this scalloped edged ribbon, but I just think it's going to make such a pretty bow that I was determined that I wanted to use it. Okay, actually that bow looks pretty good. All right, it's a little smaller. Okay, then I'm gonna take my ribbon scissors and trim that off a little bit more and get, now you can put this on with a multi-purpose adhesive, a couple of glue dots. Um, actually, I think I'm going to use glue dots. But I think on this you probably need a few. So we'll put one on the center and then maybe one on, whoops, one on each side of center. There we go. Okay, all right, like the looks of that, I'm just going to bring out my card base again. And you can see that the way that I've uh, folded this is so that it'll open as a top fold. I'm going to add some multi-purpose glue on the back. Again, you can use any uh, adhesive that you prefer. Center that, and there you are. That didn't take long, did it? I like this little Christmas card, and I love how you can use the leaf set to make the wreath. So I hope you've enjoyed that video tutorial. I hope that you will come back and visit me again. Um, 
Again, my name is Carolyn Service with O2Bstamping.com. You can go to my blog to find all the materials that I've used on this card. And you can also find me on Facebook. My Facebook page name is At Your Service. I am at your service, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Thank you, and you have a great day. Thanks for visiting.